Hello, racing fans. Welcome to Delaware Park. I'm your host, J.J. Gracie. We'll be watching races from Saturday the 26th of June. We had eight races on Saturday. Our main track was muddy, and we were off the turf once again, but we had some good racing. So let's get right to the first half of the early daily double. That will be contested at a distance of one mile on the 16th for Phillies and Mares, which never won two, 62.50. We had a field of seven. Here's the opener. Here's Phillies and Mares, and here's Josh. away and running and a good start from the starter and his crew born wild again was fast off the blocks but moonlight miss has an unassailable lead as they pass the stands for the first occasion and personal server with action absolute d's sensing a slower pace now injects more pace to the runaway leader moonlight miss past the seven eights pole moonlight miss has a three length lead action absolute d's teams up with personal server and they share a joint second a gap of four back to Born Wild again broke on top with soon out pace. Mikey's Jewel is a distant fifth. Another break back to why not you? And last of all, his love is strong. At least 15 lengths would cover tip to tail and Moonlight Miss is playing catch me if you can in the off going with five for longs to go. Personal server now takes second away and action absolute D's is a distant third. Mikey's Jewel starts to hit her best stride. Up the inside is Born Wild again still in front of two which is why not you and love is strong. They enter the far turn run and Moonlight Miss continues to show the way. Getting a bit closer is personal server five lanes down. Mikey's Jewel continues that inside charge and quite a separation back to Born Wild again. Coming back to the field is Moonlight Miss starting to huff and puff now. Mikey's Jewel has no excuses and has had the run of the race and Born Wild again in the all yellows closing in two. Around the turn and Mikey's Jewel is well off the fence as a muddy mess but kicks for home with a four length lead. Moonlight Miss is trying to salvage second. Born Wild again closes into the exacta and why not you is closing with personal server but Mikey's Jewel is kicked clear inside the eighth pole. Now Born Wild again is in second and to the outside personal server is third. The first race of the day and the first favorites home. Mikey's Jewel has won it. Mikey Jules jogs to the wire, going off at three to five. Dale, Dale Capuana, his first of two today. Give Jimmy Rodriguez his 22nd, and give Mikey Jules 340, 260, 210. Born Wild again, five dollars and 320. Personal server returned four dollars and 40 cents, and finishing fourth number two. Why not you? Your exact is seven and four, 1380. Your try was worth 6520, while your super was worth 130 dollars and 80 cents. Second half of the early daily double, non-winners to two for 62.50, gone a mile. We had a field of uh, seven with the one A scratched. Here's the second half of the early double on Saturday. Away and running at a nice level start too. Factor this in is tap for speed, so is in him with him. Hit the ticket also wants to join that party up top and grim grinning ghost is fanned four deep at the seven eights pole. Behind the quartet of speed is Cerulean Spring. Second last is hailed to the king, and the trailer is old Lang Sign. Six and a half for longs to go, and grim grinning ghost makes a break for it and shows the way by almost three. In him with him is a tracking second and hit the Ticket stays right with the speed as well. Another group of two, including Factor This In, who stays parked towards the rail, and Cerulean Springs takes that fourth position away. Hail to the King is still second last, and Old Lang Syne is last of all. Midpoint of the backstretch run, Grim Grinning Ghost dictates his own terms and shows the way by two. Hit the ticket is creeping closer to the speed, and Cerulean Springs now pops off the fence for clear sailing. In him, with him, is right there in a position to challenge. Factor to Sin stays at the rail. Hail to the King gets scrubbed upon, and Old Lang Sign is still last. Five sixteenths to go for Grim Grin and Ghost. Taking a look back and sees a two pronged attack. And Cerulean Springs is the first one to play his hand and hit the ticket is right there, too. Off the turn of their homeward bound, and Cerulean Springs could wait no more and takes the lead at the three sixteenths and kicks to his incisive lead. Hit the ticket is battling on with Grim Grin and Ghost. A late move coming from Old Lang Sign, and in him 
time with him for the miners, but Cerulean Springs is nicely clear with a sixteenth of a mile to go. Grim Grinning Ghost is faltering. In him with him battles with Old Lang Syne, but it's all Cerulean Springs. Second ghost in him with him. Going off at five to two, Cerulean Springs gets the job done. Give Gary Contessa his fifth, give Sandra Bell her eighth, and give Sterling Springs a new home. Goes to Jeffrey Poole, 744, 60 and 340 on a winner. In him, with him, 560 and 320. Ol Lang Zine returned $4.80, and the seven was fourth. Your exact is six and four, 50, 80. Your trifecta is six, four, and out of two. Ask for $317. The daily double, seven and six, 15, 60. The super, six, four, two, seven. $950 and 10 cents. And your third race, we're going to go Maiden Claiming, 16,000. We were off the turf. Take all, take out the nine, the 10, the 11, the 12, the 13, and the 14. We still had eight, and here's your break. Away and running. Dropping the jockey at the start was number four, Cats in Charge. So, Home by Seven was the first one after that. Pale Lakishas came away in second, and Vesper is three wide as they enter the first turn run. Summer Sweetheart protects the inside position. Prime Coat is out deep, and in between rivals is Joni Sunset. And last of now seven is Miss Frisian. They enter the six for Long Station, and it's home by seven the leader, but tracked intently by Vesper with three quarters of a mile to go. Pale Lakishas taps off the speed on the muddy going to be three lanes down from the dueling top pair, and right there is Joni Sunset popped off the fence. Prime Coat is wide leaving the first turn behind summer sweethearts in front of one and miss frisian's last of the seven midpoint of the backstretch run and home by seven continues to show the way and leads a length and a half vesper trying to keep tabs on that speed with four for longs to go and up the inside joni sunsets trying to get closer pale the kisses is situated in fourth and prime coat is wide and out of trouble as they turn again so home by seven still continues to lead those have been the soft fractions but Joni Sunset starting to take ground away, and there she goes. So Joni Sunset's the first one to go. Prime Coat is ready to test her hand. Home by seven trying to dig deep, and Paola kisses us off the fence while Miss Frisian is getting closer as they turn for home. Joni Sunset off the turn and has a four-length lead. Prime Coat is trying to salvage second. A rail skimming Miss Frisian, and on the wide outside is Paola kisses. But the speed at the 3 16th pole is held in all three races today, and Joni Sunset the two to one favorite is pouring away from the opposition. Prime Coat is second. Miss Frisian glides in the third. Joni Sunset was much the best. Joni Sunset stopped the timer in 145 and one, going off at two to one. If Tim Tooley is first and give Carlson Downer her 13th and give Joni, Joni her first win. 644 23 20. Prime Coat, 543.20. The seven was third, returned four dollars, while the five was fourth. Your exact two and six, 29.60. Your try, two, six and seven, one, 16.60. Daily double, six and two, 47.40. Pick three, seven, six, two, 29.30. And your super was worth $605.80. That'll bring us up to the fourth race, Philly Mares, nine winners to three. 16,000 gone six furlongs take out the four we had seven left here's josh away and running one from the outside april this breaks right on cue shatter me showing good early speed and the rail speed of lady jean now grabs second away right behind the trio of speed is april wanted and three in back of her which includes Sir garland tanager who's on the move atlantic princess is a few paths off the rail and donna me up would have to pass them all so a good battle bruise passing the half mile pole and they are stacked up across the course on the inside award wanted Trying to squeeze on through a very tight spot. Aprilness continues the battle, and Lady Jean is right there too. And a wide trip for Shatter Me as they approach the far turn run. And Scarlet Tanager is coming with a three wide kick. No torn tickets yet as they get towards the corporate pole. And Aprilness is in between rivals. Wide outside, Scarlet Tanager and Award Wanted tries to recapture that rail speed as they turn for home. Scarlet Tanager comes rolling off the turn with a three quarter of a length lead. 
on the far outside. Shatter Me is starting to gobble them up inch by inch in a rail skimming award wanted. They're inside the furlong ground. Scarlet Tanager is still leading. Shatter Me is still chasing. And Scarlet Tanager has won it. It was a length to Shatter Number Me. Number three, Scarlet Tanager gets the job done. 113 and four. Dale Cabellano gets his second. They get Robert Alvarado his fourth. 1065 64 dollars on the winner shatter me 34240 award won at four dollars and forty cents the seven was fourth you're exact at three and eight 3420 your try three eight and add a two 13460 daily double two and three sixty three twenty your pick three six two and three hundred and twenty dollars and fifty cents your pick four was worth two hundred and thirty five dollars and ten cents while your dollar super was worth one hundred and fifty seven dollars and twenty cents We'll move on over to the fifth race, which originally scheduled on the turf, off the turf, and you could look at the field and realize that we had a three-horse field. Everybody else was scratched. Here's how Josh Brown, you're tracking after, saw these three leave. Away and running. All three broke out as one. Between horses and Seek goes for the early lead. Kamehameha is off the inside, going to caught three deep in the early mix, and that leaves El Pio with the front of the race while ground saving. Around this first turn near the paddock grove and a rail skimming El Pio stacks him up across the course, and Seek is off the inside, and Kamehameha is right there too. Only three lengths would cover the beginning top to end, and it's El Pio with the rails and a nose in front. And Seek is right there close in tow, and Kamehameha AMA is also creeping closer three quarters of a length off the pace with five and a half for longs ago. There's no breathers for this trio of speed in the opening quarter of 24.93 seconds. And now Anne Seek tries to take the baton away from LPO. And Kamehameha is now three deep. And those three are within a neck of each other in a three pronged battle. That's their own match race past the half ball pole. The leader, LPO. And Seek is right there close in tow. And Kamehameha is committed to another three wide journey as the half mile time goes up at 50.25 seconds only separated by an neck and seek has a nose in front lpo is going to try to counter that attack and kamea kamea is also patiently ridden still these three past the quarter pole as a team lpo has taken the trail up the rail and seek continues the battle on and kamea kamea now hits that best stride as they turn for home they broke as one and they passed the 3 16th pole is one. El Pillow's trying to slowly get away. And Seek is slowly starting to fade. Kamehameha is also right there battling on. But El Pio's made this a dandy of a trio of a match race and now pulls away at three to five. El Pio is a fifth race winner. El Pillow going off at three to five pulls away at the end. It was a good race for a three horse field. 340 on the winner. You're obviously you get a two dollar refund. Your daily double three and one nineteen eighty. Your pick three was fifty two dollars and seventy cents. And you get a refund for your super. Let's move on over to the sixth race, which was contested at five and a half furlongs and eight other than. We had a field of seven. And here's your break, and here's Josh. Away and running. Good middle speed from Mo Beach Abad. Riley's dude also came away with plenty of early dash. And see now the favorites in a very good spot. And John's promise is off the inside. The last three markers are crowned Count Cristo on a run and the gray salt in the rim has a lot of catching up to do. Four furlongs to go and Riley's dude is now unopposed as they get ready to enter the turn and Riley's dude leads by a length and a quarter. Mo Beachabad tries to re-rally off the speed. John's promise is coming alive with a three wide attack. C now is right there in between rivals and crowned Count Cristo is seven lengths down from a solo act and that's Riley's dude who passes the quarter pole in hand and in command but John's promise is trying to bridge that gap. C now needs to do a lot better than that as heads turn for home. Riley's dude is clinging on to a one length lead. John's promise is taking away good ground on the muddy track and goes up and past inside the final hundred yards. And John's promise rolls away to two to one. John's promise is the winner.
John Trama stopped the timer 105 and 1, going off at 2 to 1. Give Mike Gorham his second. You give Ronald Mina his sixth. And give John Promise the win. Six dollars, 340 and 210. Riley's Dude, 540 and 260. C now returned two dollars and twenty cents and the two was fourth the exact is seven five thirty three forty your try is seven five and six fifty four dollars your daily double one and seven fourteen forty and your pick three three one and seven was worth fifty one dollars and thirty cents while your super seven five six and two is worth one hundred and seventeen dollars and ninety cents we're going to go over to the seventh race if you missed the other three horse field we'll give you one right here you got the one and the two and the six are running the rest didn't show up here's your break away and running. Psychologist was slow to go on her debut. The first one away was Mania. Stir Crazy tracks the speed only one length down and four lengths down from the rest of them is Psychologist. They pass the half mile pole and Mania continues to control the clock and shows the way by almost two. Stir Crazy trying to get a bit closer in second and Psychologist is seven lengths down from the speed. That is Mania as they round the turn and at three to five Mania is playing catch me if you can that leads a length and a half. Stir Crazy right there getting a bit closer as that quarter pull approaches and Psychologist is last of all. Off the turn and they're homeward bound. Mania continues to lead but Stir Crazy eyeballs her and tries to go up and past at the top of the stretch and Stir Crazy now slowly pulls away. Mania has nowhere to give and Psychologist is third. They're coming down to the 16th pole and Stir Crazy is nicely clear at three to two. It's all Stir Crazy in the seventh stir crazy pulls away late in the time in minute and four fifths give Vinnie perkins jr his third give victor carrasco his first and the three to two winner returned five dollars you get a refund and you go down on a daily double 1380 your pick three was worth eleven dollars and thirty cents and your pick uh, five was worth one thousand two hundred sixty seven dollars and seventy cents while you get a refund let's go to the finale that was uh we take out the four and take out the six we still had six runners and this philly mares which have not won since the date going a mile and 70. here's josh here's your finale and here's some fillies away and running one from the inside lana breaks fast call me jelly roll is right there and ridgemont high is committed to a three to four wide kick and tink is fanned very wide misdriven with no excuses in that fifth place position and their goals my girl chases a hot pace as they pass the seven eights pole so call me jelly roll under the mud shows the way by almost two a tracking second is ridgemont high and that second place position is joined by lana tink is committed to a four wide kick as they lead the first turn behind miss driven has one beaten and last of all there goes my girl so call me jelly roll continues to carve out an isolated lead and shows the way by almost four on the wide outside tink starts a steady advance and ridgemont high is right there too lana backpedals to be in fourth position miss driven's getting a little little bit closer and there goes my girl is still last of all as they approach the three and a half call me jelly roll continues to control the tempo and it's been smooth sailing for call me jelly roll but those waters are getting choppy now as tink is trying to latch onto the speed nothing from ridgemont high and miss driven is starting to warm up to the job as they approach the five sixteenths so call me jelly roll continues the lead tink is right there in her rear view mirror and there's quite a divide to miss driven in third as they turn for home. Call Me Jelly Roll has led him all the way around the track. Tink is going to test her the length of the stretch inside the 3 16 And Call Me Jelly Roll is holding on by a thread. Tink is trying to go up and past. Miss Driven is towards the inside, inside the 220. And Tink now at 4 to 1 storms to the top. Call Me Jelly Roll has nowhere to give him. Miss Driven to complete the exacta. But it's Tink home first. Tink draws away in the last race in 147-1, going off at 4-1. to one. 
give uh, Ian Hemingway his first, give Jimmy Rodriguez his 23rd, and give Tink the win, 1084-6260. Miss Driven, 282-40. Call me Jelly Roll, return $2.80. And Lana was fourth. Your exacta, eight and five, thirty-seven dollars. Your try was worth $115. Your late daily double, thirty dollars and sixty cents. Your pick three, ninety dollars and seventy cents. Your pick four was worth two hundred and seventy-five sixty, while your dollar super was worth one hundred and ninety-two dollars and eighty cents. Uh, leading riders here, Jimmy Rodriguez he picks up a couple, twenty-three. Uh, Carol picked up one thirteen, and Eric Lopez worked down to four. Leading trainers here, you see Andy Simoff gets another. Jamie Ness is up there with 15. Gary Contessa picked up one today. That's a look at your uh, races today. And uh, the handle right now was $766,805. When you have two, three horse fields, that's what happens. Uh, we'll be back here again Monday for more live racing. Come out and see us. Good night and good racing.